That's also, uh, I mean, that's, you got to give it to him for that. Um, Katrina Pearson continues uh, to, <laughs> to have a rough go of it uh, wherever she goes. I mean, th she, I, I sort of feel like, I'm sorry to think like th this woman needs a medal. Um, I'm not sure what I would print on the medal. I'm not sure what I would call the medal. But um, she continues to go out there and gets called out by just about everybody. Here she is with uh, Alan Combs, I guess, filling in on uh, Fox Business. Does he have a show on there now? Uh, no, this is Trish, uh, what's her name, uh, oh. hosting it. Alan Combs is just on. All right, well, fair enough. Aggressive. You know, I, I don't know if we can blame Bill Clinton for the whole thing, but it certainly seems as though there were some policies that had existed for decades quite well. Once they were gone, we got in a lot of hot water. All right, pause it for one second. Incidentally, they're talking about uh, the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act, which largely happened under Bill Clinton uh, via a, um, the, uh, well, it was repealed. There was a specific act that I can't remember uh, to a senator's name. Uh, but we I should- I think it was Graham Leach. Graham Leach. Yeah, you said that. And um, the Democratic platform which, uh, as you know, the Clinton people controlled, now calls for what Bernie Sanders was calling for and uh, War Elizabeth Warren were calling for, a 21st century version of Glass-Steagall, which would essentially sever commercial banking activities, you know, the vanilla stuff. We take your savings. You get a checking account. Here's a CD from investment banking things, which is we use your deposits, to uh, to short, you know, uh, aluminum, and then also buy up all the aluminum plants and see if it goes down, or we uh, slice and dice a bunch of um, I don't know car loans and uh, pretend all the stuff in there is grade A. So uh, that's what a 21st century Glass-Steagall Act would be. And here are these um, um, titans talking about it. In a lot of hot water. Well, you can blame the politicians in general on both sides of the aisle that have been in bed with Wall Street and corporate America for a very long time, which is exactly why you see this uprising on both sides of the aisle by the average worker who say enough is enough. This is the fault of Bill Clinton and those that followed him, and as well as Hillary Clinton, Here we go. who continue to push, you know. who continue to push for bailing out the banks. They're too big to fail, deemed okay. by the government, and the little people are getting hurt. If All right, pause it for a second. Now, of course, Glass Steagall had nothing to do with. Bill bailing out the banks, um, nothing whatsoever, but who cares? It's banks, and the other thing was about banks, so. Smaller bank, a mom and pop shot, somebody would be going to jail. Final word, Alan. It is disingenuous to blame this on Hillary Clinton and let Donald Trump off the hook. He's been an inside player. He was I was blaming play Hillary as much. He never voted for a single player. one and, of can those Can I please bills? finish the Not sentence, once. Katrina? You had a lot of time to speak here. He, Donald Trump was an inside player in Atlantic City. He was an inside player with the government. He got all kinds of largesse in the government. He wouldn't have, been, have had, had his career had he not gotten tax breaks. He would sue the government when he didn't get tax breaks. And that's how he built his career, on the backs of taxpayers. Wow. So don't act all innocent like all it's all legal, Hillary Clinton. All Come on. Alan there you go. Alan Combs slapping down uh, Katrina Pearson. You really know that you're in rough shape. <laughs> Alan Combs is the one owning him. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. I just got back from a uh, company-wide meeting. Accounting is really coming down on me hard. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So uh, please, enjoy this uh, channel. Subscribe. Right up. Right up. Down. Right down there. <laughs>